Welcome to Standard Voice News Channel. I am Samira Ibrahim. Here are your top stories for today. The International Association of Ariwa Nigerian Nurses, based in the United States and Canada, distributed palliatives to the less privileged people in Zamfara State. The FEC approved the 2.3 trillion Naira stimulus plan at its meeting on Wednesday. Nigeria recorded 649 new COVID-19 cases. Total infections exceed 22,000. Buhari backs Gyodum in the APC crisis. On business, NNPC produces 218.37 billion cubic feet BCF on natural gas in March. And on the international scene, Bayer pays $10 billion to settle with key lack and side cases. Now the news in details. The International Association of Ariwa Nigerian Nurses, based in the United States and Canada, today distributed palliatives to the less privileged people and internally displaced persons in Zamfara State. The palliatives, which comprised of indomie, soaps, detergent, and mosquito nets, were distributed to internally displaced persons and less privileged people in the society. The palliatives were distributed to cushion the effect of coronavirus pandemic in the society. The distribution was carried out by the staff of the Standard First Television, SVTV, Gusau. The Federal Executive Council, FEC, has approved 2.3 trillion Naira stimulus plan at its meeting on Wednesday, 24 June 2020. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, announced approval at the end of the FEC meeting. She said the total package that they presented is the sum of 2.3 trillion Naira. The minister explained that 500 billion Naira of the stimulus package has already been provided for in the amended 2020 Appropriations Act. She said these are funds that they have sourced from special accounts, adding that 1.2 trillion Naira of the funds are to be sourced as structured low-cost loans, which are inventionary from the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, as well as other development partners and institutions. The minister said they have 344 billion Naira that they will source from bilateral and external sources and also additional funds that they can source locally. She said the goals of the NESP are to create jobs, pump money into the economy, and hopefully stop it slipping into recession, support small businesses, and prioritize local content made in Nigeria. The House of Representatives on Wednesday resolved to investigate how the Federal Ministry of Water Resources spent 343 million naira on some unexplainable projects and the ministry's alleged refusal to give the vouchers covering the amount to the Auditor General for the audit. The House berated the Permanent Secretary in the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, Al Haj Abdul Qadir Maazu, for ignoring the committee's invitation. It directed him to appear unfailingly before the House Committee on Public Account today to answer audit queries from the Office of the Auditor General of the Federation. Chairman of the House Committee on Public Account, Mr. Oluole Oke, who spoke at the investigative hearing on audit queries issued to government agencies by the AGF. Nigeria has recorded 649 new COVID-19 cases in the country as total infections from the virus rose to 22,020. This was confirmed on Wednesday night by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC. According to the health agency, new cases were reported in 21 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Abuja. Statistics from the NCDC shows that Lagos remains the epicenter of the virus with 250 cases, closely followed by Oyo State with 100 cases. Other states with reported cases are Abia 28, Kaduna 27, Ogun 22, Edo 20, Akwa Ibom 18, and Kwara 17. While Imu and Kanu reported fewer cases with one case each, Enugu recorded 14 cases, 
Niger and Adamawa both share starting cases each. State with low cases include Bayelsa 7, Oshun and Bauchi each have 6 cases, Anambra 4, Gombe 3 and Sokoto 3. Meanwhile, the FCT recorded 17 cases. However, the number of deaths increased from 533 reported on Tuesday to 542. On the contrary, the number of discharged persons increased from 7,338 to 7,613. President Mahmoud Buhari has backed Mr. Bikto Giodum as the acting national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC. President Buhari will also attend the National Executive Council of the party called by Giodum to resolve the crisis wrecking the party. Over to Ibrahim Dwesera for more details. Thank you, Samira. And uh, what happened today was the National Executive Council meeting of the All Progressives Congress, APC, which took place at the presidential villa in Abuja and was chaired by President Muhammad Buhari. And uh, during the meeting, four very prominent decisions were taken. One of them was the dissolution of Adams Oshomale's led National Working Committee, which was done on the order of the President uh, Muhammad Buhari. And also, a new caretaker committee was set up under the chairmanship of the uh, governor of Yobe State, Maimala Bunu, who was before elected as the governor of Yobe State, was the national uh, secretary of the All Progressives Congress, APC. And uh, the other decision taken by the National Executive Committee meeting today, uh, Thursday at the presidential villa, was that uh, the party confirmed Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu as the flag bearer of the All Progressives Congress in the September Edo governorship election, which is uh, due to take place uh, uh, very soon. And also, the National Executive Committee ordered for the disbandment of the blockade uh, set up at the National Secretariat of the All Progressives Congress, APC, uh, in Abuja. With this new arrangement and order uh, by the National Executive uh, Committee of the All Progressives Congress, it shows that the political party may face the crisis of division. Because earlier before the uh, commencement of the National Executive Committee meeting on Thursday, uh, the uh, Oshomale-led National Working uh, Committee, which was dissolved this Thursday, threatened that they will not attend the meeting. So virtually, it may tell you that there is likelihood of, Im of the emergence of another APC group within the national hierarchy of the political party, which is also very dangerous for the political party as far as the 2023 election is emanating. I am Ibrahim Dosara for SVTV News. The National Working Committee and WC of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has dissolved the South-South Zonal Committee of the party and constituted a new caretaker committee. The statement issued by the National Publicity Secretary of the party, Kola Olobo, Dian said on Wednesday that the action of the National Working Committee is pursuant to Section 29, Subsection 2B and 31, Subsection 2E of the PDP Constitution 2017 as amended. The newly constituted South South Zonal Caretaker Committee, which is chaired by Chip Dan Obi, is to pilot the affairs of the party in the South South Zone for a period not exceeding three months, 90 days, as prescribed by Section 32, Subsection 2E of the PDP Constitution. The National Working Committee enjoins all members of the party in the South-South Zone to continue to work harmoniously, especially as the party works with the people of Edo State for a successful governorship election in September. Three women were on Wednesday paraded at the Special Anti-Robbery Squad office in Abuja for allegedly attempting to transport 818 rounds of live ammunition from Kano State to Bayelsa State. The high caliber bullets were hidden in a half bag of rice. First spokesman DCP Frank Umba said they were arrested by the Special Tactical Squad Unit, adding that the ammunition was given to one of the women, Elena, 
by her husband, a lance corporal in the army, to send to Inagua from Kano State. He said the soldier had been picked up by military authorities. The World Bank has approved a $750 million International Development Association IDA credit for Nigeria's power sector recovery operation to improve electricity supply. The bank in a statement in Abuja on Wednesday said that the target was to also achieve financial and fiscal sustainability and enhance accountability in Nigeria's power sector. It explained that about 47% of Nigerians did not have access to grid electricity and those who had access faced regular power cuts. According to the bank, the economic cost of power shortages in Nigeria is estimated at around 28 billion dollars, which is equivalent to 2% of its gross domestic product GDP. It stated that getting access to electricity was one of the major constraints for the private sector, according to the ease of doing business report. On business, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has said that 218.37 billion cubic feet BCF of natural gas was produced in March 2020, translating to an average daily production of 7,493.65 million standard cubic feet per day. This was contained in NNPC Monthly Financial and Operations Report for March 2020. It was released by the Corporations Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs Division, Dr. Kenny Obatiru, said on Wednesday. The release said, 3,119.89 BCF of gas was produced for the period of March 2019 to March 2020, representing an average daily production of 7,912.05 million standard cubic feet per day during the period. It explained that period to date, production from joint ventures, production sharing contracts, and NPDC contributed about 69.37%, 21.69%, and 8.95%, respectively, to the total national gas production. Out of the 218.37 BCF of gas supplied in March 2020, according to the report, 120.73 BCF of gas was commercialized, consisting of 33. 45 BCF and 87.28 BCF for the domestic for the domestic and export market respectively translating to 1235.56 MMSCFD of gas to the domestic market and status and 3817.40 MMMSCFD of gas supplied to export market for the month the report said 55.63% of the average daily gas produced was commercialized, while the balance of 44.37% was re-injected, used as upstream fuel gas or flood. And on the international scene, German chemical giant Bayer said on Wednesday it had agreed to pay more than $10 billion to end a wave of lawsuits from Americans who say their cancers were caused by its round up with killer. The deal relieves a major headache for buyer, which has been going on since it brought U.S. firm a round up maker Monsanto for $63 billion in 2018. The CEO, Wana Bowman, in a statement said, the round up settlement is the right action at the right time for buyer to bring a long period of uncertainty to an end. At the same time, Bayer announced it had also agreed separate multi-million dollar payouts to resolve long-standing legal issues involving other Bayer products as the group tries to turn the pitch on its courtroom dramas. Bayer's shares price climbed nearly 6% to 74.06 euros in after-hours trading following the surprise announcement. The round of deal will bring closer to around 75% of current litigation that involves roughly 125,000 filed and unfiled claims. That has been the news from Standard Voice Television. To end the news, a quick look at the major headlines. 
the International Association of Ariwa Nigerian Nurses, based in the United States and Canada, distributed palliatives to the less privileged people in Zamfara State. The FEC approved the 2.3 trillion Naira stimulus plan at its meeting on Wednesday. Nigeria recorded 649 new COVID-19 cases. Total infections exceed 22,000. Buhari backs Giyodum in the APC crisis on business. NNPC produces 218.37 billion cubic feet BCF on natural gas in March. And on the international scene, Bayer pays $10 billion to settle with key lack and psy cases. That's the news. On behalf of the production crew, Head of News and Current Affairs Department, Ibrahim Grabotuno, I am Samira Ibrahim, wishing you a pleasant day. Keep watching Standard for Television News. Goodbye.